Hello, this uh, video is for the Civil 3D Copy Profile View Labels app. Uh, this app was created to uh, automate the process of copying labels between profile views. Um, initially, it was developed for copying profile view depth labels and station elevation labels uh, with a profile view. Um, being that those labels are associated to a specific profile view and there's no way to copy and then reassign to another. You basically have to recreate um, each time. So this app automates the process for those labels. Uh, with, with Civil 3D, uh, I've run into it many times where uh, often, you know, uh, Labels are placed uh, on a profile view, such as multi-leaders, basic leaders, m tax d -tax. Uh, I've seen dimensions on there. And so I've also <coughs> set up the app uh, to automate the process of copying those and maintaining um, station and elevation as well. So it does look for those other object types, as you can see here on this list. It's pretty simple the way it works. You just pick. Um, Pick the ob or select the source profile view, and then you select the destination profile view, select the labels for copy, uh, and then it automates that process. So with that, I'm going to jump over into a drawing here. So here you can see that we have our source profile view with a couple other profile views here. Um, we have station elevation labels. Here we have three of them. I'm going to go ahead and just drag one like this so you can see that it does maintain the drag state as well. And I will change this one to a different style so that you can see that the style is also maintained with those. So you have this one, this one, and this one um, are all station elevation labels that are associated to just this profile view. Over here we have two uh, profile view depth labels. Uh, these labels, uh, again, are, are two different styles being used, but they are uh, have two different points here that uh, relate to this profile view. <coughs> Next, we have uh, just a piece of M text. We have a piece of D text. We have a basic leader, just for some of the legacy stuff, if we run into that, or uh, for some reason a user explodes it. Um, then we also have aligned dimensions, uh, the, you know, the two different dimensioning types, which is, I believe, rotated and aligned. And then we have multi-leaders and then angle dimensions. <clears throat> so the app is, will support uh, all, the, all of those objects. So with running the app, I'm just going to bounce into RTCL uh, copy P view labels is the name of the command. There will be a button on the toolbar as well. So when you first run it, uh, you have the option for some settings, a help file that's built in. We'll get into that here in a second. I'll just initially run the, the basic uh, setup here. So we're going to select our source uh, profile view, which is here. Uh, select our destination. I'm going to drop it down on this bottom one. And then uh, select profile view labels. So you can individually pick them on the screen if you want to do it that way, if you only have a couple you want to grab, or you can window that entire profile view to get all of the labels. Um, in windowing it, it will select everything, but the app is programmed to filter out uh, the other objects, uh, so it only grabs the, the necessary label objects that are built into the app. So upon hitting enter, you'll see they all uh, populate down here. Now it's not, it doesn't look like a huge deal because the stationing here is pretty much the same as the top as far as the beginning station um, and elevation wise, I believe 720, 720. So it doesn't look like a huge deal, but this middle profile view Station is zero here, so there's there's no uh, exterior buffer on the profile view. Also, I believe the elevations are off by 10 feet on this one. 
So if I run the app one more time, select the source, select the destination, and then window, you'll see that they are added, <coughs> but they are slightly moved. If you can look at where this one's at, you can see it's different location than this one up here. Um, and that is because it's using the station and elevation from the profile view uh, to uh, associate the points, which is most important for these station elevation labels, but also just for maintaining location um, of the other labels. So if you have something like, uh, I know a lot of times people tend to do this with a multi-leader. They'll throw a multi-leader down, label their surface, with a multi-leader as existing surface. <clears throat> so this app is is nice uh, because we can select our source, select our destination, pick that leader, and it drops down and maintains uh, location and as well as uh, you know pointing to the surface if it's the same, if it's the same surface. Um, so that's that's kind of a nice uh, a nice tool with it. And just to check on this, we can click on uh, one of these labels, and I believe it'll tell you what profile view it's associated to. So it, this label is now associated to PV2, whereas if we go up here and click this one, it's associated to PV3. So it did create a new label associated to the other profile view. We can check this one down here as well, and you can see it's associated to PV1. Um, whereas if, if I was to copy a label and bring it down here onto this profile view, the stationing is off. If you take a look, see where the point is? It's off by 100 feet because this profile view is different than this profile view down here, and this label is technically associated to this. Um, so. That's the beauty behind the app. It uh, automates that process. Now, just to show you a couple other things uh, with the settings and the help menu, um, this does not save um, to your registry or anything like that. It just allows you to to quick uh, uncheck a few things. So if you're going to run the app and, you're, and there's a, a bunch of labels on here and you say, oh, I, just, I, I don't want to deal with the, these labels here. I only want to deal with the other labels. You can uncheck those um, and apply the settings. Um, and then let's say I cancel out um, and get back in on the command. It, it saves these settings per drawing. So um, if you're running a drawing and that's how, you've, uh, how you want it to, to function, then um, you know, the app will, uh, will save the settings per drawing per session. Um, so that, that it can function that way um, if that's all you're wanting to deal with uh, over and over for multiple profile views if you get into that. <clears throat> and just to show how that works, we'll just run it here real quick. And we'll go into settings. So I have only have the two profile view labels selected. So I'm going to apply those settings. And then I'm going to uh, pick my source, pick my destination, and then I'll window this this view here, and you'll see that only the station elevation labels and the uh, depth labels show up in the view. Um, lastly, uh, just a built-in help menu um, for access and basically the same information that's out on the website, um, and some uh, other links to uh, to to Red Transit Consultants. So I uh, appreciate your time watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoy the app. Thanks.